Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you some post processing process of in the software EX Scan Pro. And as you can see, there is a data on the screen which was actually scanned in our last video. I don't know if you you remember it or not. It was scanned outdoor and with our power bank. So today this is the process of the post processing. And you see here our device is actually offline. So in our software EX Scan Pro, you can do the post processing without the device connection. So here we go. So now firstly we need to delay some area that was captured unexpectedly. For sure during a scan you could capture some area you don't want to scan. Uh, so just in the post processing you just need to press shift and circle them all then delete them. So after delete them all, you cannot actually directly go to the post processing page because if you do that, the software will just hint you to mesh it. Yeah, now you remember you forgot to make a point cloud and make a mesh. So now you need to generate a point cloud first and then generate the mesh. So the software will automatically automatically go to the post processing page. So in this page we got a uh, how feeling, sharpen, smooth and the simplification several options for your post processing. So for this model I think we mostly we need the uh, whole feeling and the sharpen function. So for the whole feeling you can firstly use the automatic whole feeling function because in this function you can define the parameter and the, the parameter can be defined from 10 to 100 millimeter so though all those holes that are in your model data within this parameter will be automatically filled out by the software itself so here for the software to fill out as many holes as possible for me, I choose the maximum value of this. Apply and close it. Then again, you use a manual hole filling to fill out the rest of them just by clicking them all. Then just click the apply. And okay. Now after that, we need to go to the sharpen function. Just choose the level you want and click apply. The software will automatically sharpen it, make it sharpen for you. And close this window. So after all the processing, we can go to the measurement. And in measurement page, there are some very useful functions like create feature, the movement, measurement, and the multi view. So, in actually, in the function of movement, there is a function called 321 movement, which can allow you to align your data onto the system coordinate. So, to use this function, we need to create feature prior to align it. So here we go to a create feature page and create our point line and plane. So firstly, we need to create, uh, create the point. Here we select the mode, the method of create the point by selecting a point on the surface. Just normally, just anywhere could be okay. And then click the point, then create. And then we go to the line page. The same, we need to select the method of creating a line. Here we use point to point. We just choose two points on the approximate, approximately the same surface of the point you got. Click and click another point. Then here create. So the software will just generate a line for you. Then we go to the plane page. The same, we need to select the method to generate the plane. Here we got three points, feet, 
point line feet, best feet. So here we use the point feet. You just need to select three points on the model, which are approximately on the same plane. Then create the plane by clicking here, the create button. Then you got the line, the point and the plane. So you are ready to move to do the 3 to one movement to align your data onto the coordinate. So we go to the movement and directly go to the 3 to one system movement. Choose your constraint plane, your constraint line, and your constraint point. So, and click move. So the software will just help you to align your data onto the original system coordinate. And close this page, let's see what we can see from the multi view. If we go to the front view, because it's the original coordinate, so you can only see the plane here. And if we flip it, we go to the top view, then we can see the whole data, whole patterns here, because your data now is sitting on the base of the coordinate. Actually, this is a very useful function for your later processing, like if you need to do further design, if you need to do even manufacturing or generating the pace in your CAM software, then you need to align it to the coordinate. It is more convenient for you to do later process. And hope you can learn, just can just get, hope you can just get some tips from today's sharing. And I just hope if you can have any question or suggestion of this software, just let us know.